Good afternoon, Madam Vice Chancellor. Good afternoon, Madam Vice Chancellor, uh, the registrar, boss, uh, the librarian, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Um, Madam, before you, we have uh, Dr. Stanley Molly, is an medical director in charge of uh, Abozone. He has come to with the team to pay you a course visit. But before we, I call on the population officer to introduce other members of the team. Let me introduce to you the principal officers, the vice chancellor and principal officers, so that you'll be well acquainted uh, with um, the people you have come to see. We have our amiable, ever smiling, proactive, strict, intelligent, good looking vice chancellor. <laughs> because she's a serious-minded woman. Yeah. She's not ready to allow anything below has any standards she has set to, to, to take place. So she's strict in our ramifications. She is uh, Professor Mrs. Stella Chimek. <laughs> if I'm given the opportunity to tell everybody in this uh, this is office to rise. There's someone that stands out, the taller than all of us here. <laughs> He's the registrar of the institution. The barrister, Richmond, or my baby. And when you stepped in, you saw uh, they were having a management meeting with sweet and uh, water and all that, item seven and all that. There's only one that can make, make it possible. That man you see, you are looking at, is the, the boss of the institution. It's <laughs> Pastor Sonny Kogu. There was a time I was uh, standing outside with the registrar and we, we saw uh, the librarian. And the registrar was saying that she reads. She reads all the books before she allows any, any other person to read. And that's our librarian, uh, Dr. Ms. Vera Okonoko. So on that note, let me yield the mic to your population officer to do the need for. Introduction has actually been properly made, and um, I, I want to tell you that 
we are here to fraternize with you. First, to congratulate you on your position as the Vice Chancellor, the Pioneer Vice Chancellor of Libya. And also to appreciate you for the wonderful transformation you've brought to the in a very short time. Tremendous growth and metamorphosis we've seen in the, whole, the university. We've seen several vice chancellors, but the progression we've seen amazing. We keep wondering because it looks as if there's a particular magic that you use to strategize your even your staff. They understand your body language. They do everything the way you want it. Our things are moving. We are seeing it. So we deem the fit to come today to congratulate you and fraternize with you. And then uh, I've taken time as the Zona Medical Director to ask questions about the medical school. I was surprised to hear that exams have been conducted. I've had, because I'm aware of that, I'm aware, I'm aware of the accreditation team that came the other time. Exams have been conducted, first year and all that. I, please, can we give a round of applause? I can't just explain, but thank you very much. Mark. So, we are also here to tell you that our doors are wide open in Central Hospital. But we've seen so many um, IT students you sent, mm -hmm. those that also come to do some research. I give them express at, at attention when they come. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Because when you see someone that shares the same vision with you, you will stop at nothing to encourage that person to succeed. So once we see you need them, IT, research, whatever. There was one prof that came to do research. Medical lab. Med lab. Uh, prof. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In fact, when they came, I had to vacate my office for them <laughs> so that they can do their study. Thank you so much. Yeah. So that's to tell you how we cherish what you are doing here. So. That's uh, in a nutshell. We don't have much to say, just that we came to know you well, fraternize with your team, and tell you people that we are ready to work with you. Thank you. On behalf of the management team of Central Hospital, and well, we are here to say thank you. Thank you. All right. The registrar, Bossa, and librarian. Um, the Zonal Medical Director of uh, the Agbo Hospitals, the Zonal Admin, and then the Matron, PRO. I want to, on behalf of um, the management staff and students of University of Delta, welcome you to University of Delta, Agbo. I want to start by saying thank you so much because without the Zona Medical Director, we would have been, uh, been able to resource uh, the medicine, the basic medical sciences, that's the part, um, physiology, anatomy, med lab, he contributed to resourcing that program. So, we must put it on record. You know, he came and he said, and he said, congratulating us. He was part of the team that made it possible. And I want to really say thank you so much for all you have been doing, for all you are still doing, and for that which you are going to do uh, to ensure that uh, the medical school moves forward. So we really appreciate you and your team. Uh, yes, University of Delta, uh, basic medical and uh, medicine. We just concluded 100 level. We are moving into, we are moving into 200 level. Wow. By September, October, they will all return to 200 level. 
So by God's grace, I'm sure there will be that uh, the, the collaboration will not be tightened because that is where they will now start interfacing with uh, you and your uh, team. And I also uh, want to let you know that yesterday we got um, approval from His Excellency through the Ministry of Higher Education for the use of um, the Central Hospital and the Advanced Diagnosis Center in Agbo as our teaching centers. So we just got that approval. So as time goes on, those in uh, medicine and basic medical sciences, they will come to have interaction with you as to how you people are going to ensure that the students that uh, are trained in the University of Delta Agbo get, uh, they are able to compete with uh, those in other yeah. institutions. So in, in that case, it will not be, just be the lecturers, it will be partnering with some of your experts to ensure that they also have that practical knowledge and full knowledge or that is expected for them to become medical doctors and then for them to have a BSc nursing and all that. And so uh, don't be tired. They will always come to you and your team for that. Uh